The Division of Forest Health and Monitoring was founded as a division of entomology in 1921. Its mission was and is to protect forest, shade, and ornamental trees from significant insect and disease damage and provide pest management and damage prevention for homeowners, municipalities, and forest landowners and managers in order to preserve the overall health of Maine's forest resources. The original mandate has been expanded twice. In the 1980s, non-living factors were added to the list of forest stressors we monitor and address. In 1999, the division was given responsibility for conducting a permanent inventory of Maine's forest on a five-year cycle. To fulfill this mandate, the division's forest inventory and insect and disease units perform several functions. Our insect and disease unit consists of three entomologists, one pathologist, two technicians, and two project employees. It conducts program functions necessary to protect our resources from significant forest health threats throughout the state. We maintain a statewide forest health monitoring system, which provides the basis for pest predictions, damage prevention, and management recommendations. Surveys conducted from the air and on the ground are used to detect and monitor current and potential insect disease and abiotic stressors. Analyses of surveys provide information about the actual and potential impacts of stressors and about the state of the forest resource. Reports based on analysis of data generated by the system give landowners a heads up as to what kinds of things they might expect and helps them make informed management decisions. In addition, valuable ecological and historic records are created and preserved, including an extensive reference collection of forest and other insects that is vital to supporting our mission and used extensively by others interested in entomology. Insect and disease staff provide technical advice and assistance to a diverse customer base. We respond to requests for assistance with forest, ornamental, and shade tree insects and diseases from industry consulting and district foresters, arborists, homeowners, landowners, and others. Early intervention and pest management can greatly increase the value of forest products and keep forests healthier for other uses as well. Pest diagnosis, either at the office or on site, is routinely followed with control information encouraging the use of model pest management and damage prevention techniques. This advice supplements the annual summary and monthly condition reports provided by the staff during the year to over 400 subscribers. Recipients include arborists, landscape specialists, foresters, Christmas tree growers, and members of the general public. In addition, we publish technical reports on special topics, such as management activities of pests of concern, insect and disease control trials, and tax on specific subjects, such as mosquito diversity. When justified, the division provides design, oversight, administration, and the funding infrastructure for large and small-scale pest management and remediation projects. We are the lead agency for cooperative federal, state, and private pest control efforts, such as the suppression activities during the last spruce budworm epidemic and current efforts to control the hemlock woolly adelgid. In order to stay relevant in a changing environment of forest pests, climate, and control options, we conduct and cooperate in applied research on management of forest stressors. Research is targeted at analyzing host and stressor interactions, using knowledge of cultural practices to develop practical management options, and developing proactive managerial forest health monitoring surveillance systems. We leverage internal capacity through cooperative research with others. Finally, quarantine activities directly relating to the forest resource are carried out by unit personnel. We oversee state quarantines on the hemlock woolly adelgid, gypsy moth, European larch canker, pine shoot beetle, and rivies, which is the alternate host of pine blister rust. The unit also assists in enforcement of relevant federal quarantine laws. These laws help prevent depletion of resources, both ecological and economic, and protect the health of the forest ecosystem by restricting the movement of damaging agents. At the same time, they minimize constraints on commerce. Members of the inventory unit, which include field crews distributed across the state and an analyst in Augusta, conduct a statewide annualized forest inventory. The inventory provides timely, unbiased, credible, and relevant information about the extent and condition of Maine's forest resource. Inventory results are used by a broad range of clients, including conservation organizations, consulting foresters, industry foresters, and researchers. 
information gathered supports forest policy decisions, provides information for forest modeling work, and informs management decisions. The division generates statewide reports on levels and trends in the forest resource and responds to requests for spatially specific information. In addition to being legislatively mandated, the data collected by the inventory unit are invaluable to the work of the Insect and Disease Unit and Maine Forest Service clients. All program functions within the Forest Health and Monitoring Division are accomplished by working with a wide array of cooperators. And beyond its specific mission, the Division cooperates with other state, local, and federal collaborators to support the overall mission of the Maine Forest Service, to protect and enhance the forest resources of Maine for the benefit of current and future generations. For more information, please visit our website.